at the University of Missouri, you can take a class where you can learn how to fly a drone, but it's not for the reasons you might think. Students in the Science Investigative Reporting class fly drones near prairie fires and snow geese, so they can really show what's happening. Nothing is a replacement for knocking on doors, interviewing people, looking at data, and just like putting the pieces together that way. But what this does do is provide a different um, perspective on, on things from above. Technically known as unmanned aircraft systems, drones capture video through a GoPro mounted with a kitchen sponge and rubber bands. And it really marries a couple of different technologies. You've got, kind of got the aerodynamics, you've got the electronics, you've got the, the, you know, the media side, the computer science side, and then how to fit it all together. And end of the day, just have to have fun with them. When drones crash, the student journalists replace busted parts and take more serious problems to the IT instructor, AKA the drone guy on campus. But whether they can fly at all for professional journalism has yet to be determined by state and federal law. But at the moment, it's really a gray area. So trying to work within the law of, of what people know, there is no you know, hard definition of right or wrong. Some people get away with doing stuff. Some people don't. There's, there's no real um, concrete guidelines to follow. Being among the first to try to apply this technology to journalism, we have a responsibility to, to do it right to uh, do it ethically, responsibly, legally, um, and in a, with a public service motive. I was very skeptical at first. Um, I, what I knew about drones wasn't really good so far. I, I'd only heard about drones through the covert drone wars in uh, Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia. And that was, those are the only associations I had with it. But as this class explores the ethics and applications of drones in journalism, they've discovered that drones are valuable tools that could have other civilian applications. At the end of the day, I can see the likes of you know, a major package delivery company using this to deliver a package to your doorstep. Or somebody needs medication in a rural area, why can't this pick it up rather than them having to drive to the pharmacy? Or I, I want a pizza delivered, my drone drops it off. You know.